Hi, this is Laura Jackson from Discovering Dyscalculia. In my Dyscalculia Math Education Workshop, I share about some of the curriculum and books that we used to help teach math to my dyscalculic daughter. And one of the tools that was important in all the books that we were using was Cuisinier Rods. Now, Cuisinier Rods can be a little confusing to people and I get a lot of questions about them. Which ones do we use? How do we make a choice about them? One of my favorite books on Cuisinier Rods is Ronit Bird's ebook. Um, I think it's called Understanding Numbers uh, Through Cuisinier Rods. And we use that as a second book after her first book, which is Understanding Numbers with Dot Patterns. Um, and she recommended um, a specific set that I was unable to find here in the US. So I'm, maybe it's an option that is more readily available in the UK. So what we chose was a box of wooden Cuisinier rods from learningresources.com. And they have a lot of different options on Cuisinier rods. So let me share why we use these ones. First of all, we use a small group set. Uh, you might think, I don't need a small group set. It's just my student and I, or just my child and I, if you're a parent. Uh, but the small group set really allows you the number of pieces. I believe there's like, I don't know, I want to say 175 or something pieces. Uh, to be able to really play the games in Ron ebooks, Ron Bird's ebooks, and also the Discalculia Solution and some other books and activities that we used. Um, it has enough sets for a tutor or the teacher, which was me, and a student. So I recommend this set. I like that it is wooden. I like the feel of the wood ones more than the plastic. Also, it's a lot less plastic to have out in the world. Um, so these are all in increments of one centimeter on the end. So it's one centimeter on the end, and then each um, each rod is that number of centimeters. So this is a number nine, and you can see here's a number 10, which is orange, and you can see they're about one centimeter difference right here. So these are um, what we used, and I highly recommend. You'll see some Cuisinier rod sets that have little dividing lines for every centimeter. It's usually the plastic ones that have that. And there are pros and cons to using that. A lot of Montessori schools do have, you know, base 10 rods that are like that. One complication with that is that dyscalculic students tend to count on in ones. You'll notice that most dyscalculic students don't have trouble counting up from one. And in fact, that's how they add um, a lot of <laughs> and work out a lot of different problems is counting on in ones. So if you have a Cuisinier rod and it has all the little lines, they can be continuing to rely on counting on as ones. So another way to think about this is a dyscalculic struggles to understand numbers as sets, as groups of numbers that are its own thing. So this is a number 10. And it is its own thing. And when you are doing math, to think about a number 10 as its own unit, not simply just a, a pile of ones, can be very helpful. So not having the lines is a real asset when you're just calculic and learning to understand that each of these are its own thing. Here's a five, here's a 10. And with these numbers, we can work with them and we can find how many of these numbers are inside of another number? So here's a 10 and we can see, oh, look at, this is how much is left over when we have the five and the 10 together. You know, maybe we'll add another five and we'll see that two fives, we'll physically experience that two fives equals 10. And it's not a matter of counting up or down in ones. Also, dyscalculics have a hard time counting backwards anyway. So there's that. So anyway, this is the set I recommend. The label fell off because we've been using it so much, but if you go to learningresources.com and I can put the link um, down below, it's not affiliated. Um, check out the wooden small group Cuisinier rod set. To learn more or to check out the Discalculia Math Education Workshop, go to discoveringdiscalculia.com.